Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see integration of MuleSoft with Datadog. But let me introduce myself and also tell you the agenda. I am Mohammad Akib working as a MuleSoft certified developer and integration architect. So today we have the agenda where we will see what is Datadog, how to create Datadog account, how to configure HTTP appender for Datadog within MuleSoft. Also, we will see how to create MuleFlow with loggers and monitoring the logs in Datadog. So let's understand first what is Datadog. So Datadog is an observability service for cloud scale applications providing monitoring of servers, databases, tools and services through a SaaS based data analytics platform. Let's now move on and see how we can create Datadog account. So let's open your browser and go to the URL datadoghq.com and then you will see this screen which you are seeing currently in front of you. If you want to mo know more about uh, this platform you can just click see the platform and a video will be loaded and you will see what Datadog actually is and how does it, it behave with different tools and what it can do and what are its capabilities so let's now start creating the account we can straight away go to get started free and a pop-up will appear where you can give their information so for me I will say integration bytes it gmail.com let's suppose name company password phone if you want to give you can otherwise you can leave this field as this is not required okay just click sign up All right, so we are ready to work on Datadog. You can see on your screen that there are different stacks that you can connect your Datadog application with. So I will show you now that how we can connect the Datadog with MuleSoft. Currently, you don't see Mule over here. So we will see how we can connect that with MuleSoft. So if you uh, scroll down a bit first we can give some of the answers if you want like uh, other tools and services we can say MuleSoft right or uh, if there is any other technology as well that uh, you would like to add you can add it also we can we can just tell that what does your organization look like like how many servers do we have one two three four let's suppose I can say we have ten servers are you managed service provider hosting provider I can say no you can select this as per your information and what's your goal with Datadog so my goal with Datadog is to integrate with MuleSoft all right so let's click next now we have an option of agent setup now let me tell you there are two ways that you can connect MuleSoft with Datadog so if you are running on-premises or hybrid system I mean if you have hybrid environment or on-premises environment then setting up the agent is the good idea but if you are on your cloud hub applications so you can't do anything about that about that agent so in this video first we will see how we can set up the or how we can just integrate MuleSoft with cloud hub without having any agent and then in future we will have an other video where I will show you how you can set up the agent on your machine and from there your logs will be read from log file and sent to Datadog. So let's don't get confused as of now. 
let's just integrate with cloud up so for that we don't need agent setup so let's open any point studio and start creating project create a mule project if you don't see this here if you already have a uh, mule of projects over there you can just click over here and create new mule project right so let us start from here mule project and i can give it a name like proc is I would suppose it as a process API, a proc mule DD. Let's suppose DD means data dog. Okay, just click finish. All right, so project being created. Okay, and uh, this has been loaded as well. So as of now, we don't have anything in the flow. So very first thing we need to do is just go to log4j file over here okay and go to source now you notice that we have appenders uh, added here and it is saying as a roll file uh, i mean rolling, rolling file appender is added here so we, now very first thing uh, we can do is we can add another appender which is http appender and that http appender will send the logs to datadog whenever we will be using logger statement or logger component within the flow that will be sending to uh, datadog as well so let's just click uh, hit enter and i have already got the code so just we can copy and paste i will paste this code in description of the video as well so just copied this code let's add it here okay so let me just uh, show you what this is actually so we are creating an, an other appender which is http appender and here we have given the name as uh, datadog let me just copy this okay so okay and here we have uh, that uh, url where we will be sending the logs which means that we will be sending the logs to that log and this is the whole uh, url okay from if we, if we see from here https to input now these are few of the curious strings that we can send like what is the host and what is the source what is service these are few of the additional uh, tags that uh, data dog ex expects from the service from the logs being sent to datadog and here is an interesting part this is dd tags so which means the datadog tags where we can send our custom tags as well which we can utilize in datadog to search for logs to filter out the logs whatever logs we want to search for all right so here we have given the value as environment dev api type proc as i mentioned that we are supposing it as a process api and then we have api name which is mule dd app name which is mule proc mule dd this is what we can give anything over here but it will help us in datadog to filter out or search for the particular logs or okay <clears throat> so here one more thing if you see dd api key okay so here we need to pass the api key api key you can find from that dog let me show you so when we go back to the browser where we had uh, sign up for the datadog account here we have we see a logo of datadog we can click over here right so once we click here it it tells us more more details you can just go and uh, and see what services datadog provides and what are the features and capabilities that can be used in datadog okay but as of now we want to see from where we can get the api key so let's go to integration tab and uh, click on apis now once the api you click the apis you see the different tabs right so uh, see there are a few options like APIs give a move to organization settings page 
and all other so we just need to click here api keys okay so we need to just copy this key we just click here and copy we just copied the key api key okay and just go back to your log4j xml file and paste your key over here just save it uh, save it now and now what we need to do is that call this datadog uh, appender as an appender reference just like this so we can just copy this and what's the name let's check again the okay data log that's it we just saved the changes and let's go back to your flow and create some uh, http api uh, over here we can just call listener and set up the listener this is pretty simple so there is no rocket science over there just click ok and just path mule ed or we can say the mule bt integration okay just uh, this is the rough url however you, you are not supposed to create the this is not best practice to create the url but this is just for testing purpose okay we just click save and and just uh, search for logger component okay and from this logger we can send any message like uh, hello world or even you can send the whole payload whole json everything whatever you want let's just say as payload so it will be more more clear that what you want to send okay whatever payload we send it over here it will be sent to datadog as well so just uh, just click uh, right click this project and run as mule application okay once this application is deployed i will back right so the application is deployed successfully let's open the postman and try to hit few of few times this api with any of the message json message that you want to send or anything that you want to send or we'll click send okay a, a few times all right so let's go to uh, datadog again and just <laughs> from here in the left sidebar set, uh, go to logs and click search now if you see it, it is selected as past 15 minutes you can select uh, as uh, the time as per your requirement and search for the logs okay just click right so here you see that even the application when it was getting restarted or flow was getting started so those logs are also available over here right so if we if we refresh again see all those uh, five logs we hit five times and we just had this uh, five logs over here just click here and you see that there are a few of the tags that we sent from log4j xml file that let me show you okay over here these are the custom logs that we sent environment api type api name app name so that's what you see from here as well app app name api name environment source so we can filter out the logs over here as well as we we might have uh, many applications like 20 100 but we can just filter out from here as well like filter by this and filter by this and uh, dev environment okay so just like this you can filter out your logs and then you will see the that particular application logs are available over here let's click again this uh, this content i mean this log and just see what else we got in the event attributes this is the message that we sent this is the logger exactly what we sent from 
postman if you see over here see message because this is the field message will be always available over here if if i send it just like uh, this if i just click here message send okay send a few times okay let's now just verify since those logs get uh, get updated here we can verify a few more things so the, this is the level info level we sent right so also service we configured here if you see this service cloud hub this one also we are sending the correlation id so you can notice that we have got correlation id as well over here also here okay so let's just click and see the latest request what that brings up okay if we click here now see that we sh we have that message particularly available here and if you want to send more fields let's just go back to postman and you can just say that message to and hi there send and just verify from here let's click a few times so let's refresh it okay just click here and uh, this is the latest one yes you see the message too okay because a message or message that field will always be over here and if you add uh, something different uh, this is default if you write if you send anything with the message attribute that will be put over here as a main log and other few things will be visible in this json so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you don't miss out such exciting videos in future. Thank you so much for watching.